lovely Sagittarius, welcome to your August 2019 love and general reading. I'm Gemstone Tarot, your Sagittarius, Sun, Moon or Rising or Cross Watcher or just whoever. I mean, sometimes, you know, you're drawn to watch a video and it's not your principal sign. Doesn't really matter. We all have a bit of everything in us anyway. So, Sagittarius, what do we need to know for August? Okay. Ho, 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 ho. Let's just go major arcana-tastic, shall we? Wowzers. Okay, Sagi, there will be an extended reading and the link is in the description box. It follows on directly from this one, so oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> so if you want to follow me over there, check out the description box. If you need any other information, it's all in the description box. I try to put everything in just in one place. Wow, Sagi. I could feel that there was some um, issues, I suppose, when I even when I was shuffling. And I've used my Morgan Greer cards, which is the cards that I use when I know that there's spiritual big jobs going on. When there's stuff afoot, when there are strange things happening at the Circle K, these are the cards I use. Okay. And this may not be a message for all Sagittarians, but it is a strong message. So I'm going to kind of follow in with that. And this is probably more for Sagittarians dealing with the masculine, I would have said too. Okay, look, we're going to kick off. We've got the Emperor in the reverse. The Emperor is the father card, does represent Aries if you're being astrological about it. It's the father of the tarot. It's divine masculine as well. It's in the reverse. For some of you, oof, there's been a disappearance of somebody. I'm getting a, a message of the invisible man. Okay. So, and some of you are like, yeah, <laughs> indeedy, the invisible man. Okay, the mysterious case of the invisible man. It's a karmic relationship situation, but something about it uh, gathers momentum in August. Now look, in July, we had Mercury retrograde, which caused an awful lot of karmic silt to be dredged up from the bottom of the lake. This could uh, be about you and a Virgo, by the way, that's just for one or two of you. So check out the Virgo reading if that's the case. Someone needs to come out of hiding, is what I'm getting here. And in July, somebody may have gone into hiding because we had many retrograde planets, including Mercury. And then we had um, an eclipse in Cancer on the 2nd and we had an eclipse in Capricorn on the 16th. And it's just... It was definitely a month where emotionally it felt like the universe tipped out the draw. And within that, it feels like somebody may have scuttled off. You might be dealing with a Cancerian or a Libran or a Virgo or an Aries. Hmm. Or it could be a water sign. I don't really know if I'm honest. I don't know if it even matters. Six of Cups in reverse, the Karmic Relationship card in the reverse. Six of Cups is childhood sweethearts. It's also a sort of longing feeling. It's also my kind of Mercury retrograde. Um, Mercury retrograde, why am I thinking about that person still or... The karmic relationships, Saggy, which are not always a Sagittarius thing, to be honest, because you are ruled by Jupiter and you are a very mutable and lucky sign. But, you know, we all get drawn into things from time to time. Karmic relationships play out sometimes very much behind the scenes. This could be someone you had telepathic type experiences with. It could be someone who, when you knew them or when you were with them, 
and I feel like you're not at the moment or they're long distance or they're away or you are that could be psychological or it could be actually geographical I feel like there are downloads that you get about this person dreams in particular they may dream of you as well you may have felt in the beginning when you met them that they felt like home for some of you this could be someone you haven't even had a relationship with yet but you met them it could be that you met them online but you haven't met them in real life it's very interesting energy and it's definitely been there's been an offer not made or an offer withdrawn or an offer not accepted or an offer missed knight of cups in reverse is a card where there is an offer around because the knight of cups is here but it's in reverse and in reverse means either you didn't like what was in that cup and he's like <laughs> no thanks um or they didn't it just isn't a good enough offer or it was slack or half-hearted or they made an offer and then they withdrew emperor in reverse is someone who's a bit frustrated someone who's a it can also be someone who doesn't step up into their power so if we think of it in terms of the emperor the ceo someone who's in charge someone who's in the masculine who's in the yang who claims who steps forward when it's demoted to the knight of cups in reverse either they're not because they've disappeared they are the invisible person it can be ghosting it can be tailing off it can be disappearing of some kind moving away or it can be that what they came forward with was weak unfinished unsatisfactory to you now we've got the hermit in reverse the virgo card it's also the card for someone coming out of hiding when the hermit is in the upright someone is a lone wolf now this may have been you and you may be now coming out of hiding but for a lot of you it's them coming out of hiding I'm not entirely sure how pleased you're going to be about that, Sagittarius. Now, it can also represent, because the Hermit is Virgo, it can represent Virgo season, which is the 23rd of August-ish, might be the 22nd-ish. Um, and we also have, as Sun moves into Virgo, we then have a new moon in Virgo on the 30th. So this could come to fruition very much in the last week of the month. But you have the Nine of Swords. This has been causing you anxiety, Saji, and that's not normal for you, to be honest. It's not normal. Now, you're kind of caught in a slight contradiction. You don't really know what to do. Four of Cups. Cups are being offered in this reading, but they're not being taken. Now, you could be offering to this other person. You could have offered many cups and you've decided to take your cup away it's not been accepted and they've disappeared here is a person where three cups have already been offered now there's a fourth cosmic hand coming from the cloud and they're like hmm it's ambivalence it's not knowing what to do it's either you or them it could be with the six of cups which is a weak returning card that you offered them many cups at one time that they didn't take and now that there's been some distance they want to come and offer you something and you're like I'm good thanks either way the momentum for this comes in August we've got major arcana the hanged man in reverse and when I get the hanged man in reverse the energy that I think of it's a Neptunian card it's a Piscean card but it's also a card of slight kind of 
illusion but also enlightenment the hermit and the hangman kind of go together in that both of them remove themselves from friends family society or whatever distraction to um, seek enlightenment and the hermit seeks it through solitude and the lamp which is kind of crown chakra knowing and the hanged man seeks it through hanging upside down so everything goes to the crown and normally has a yellow halo around that crown chakra as well but this seems to be coming back out the hermit's coming back into society the invisible man returns and the hanged man that energy of suspense gets flipped and it's a bit like for me a boulder on top of a hill that has a wedge underneath something kicks the wedge out and the boulder starts moving this is momentum Saji things are going to start happening in August in a situation that was stale challenging and for some of you it could be work as well because the emperor is the CEO the boss um, the manager the person who owns the company so this could be about your fortune changing. It's certainly up for grabs, okay? So if you were rejected for a job or you rejected a job, there may be a counter offer, okay? In other words, you're gonna get a karmic rebalancing in August. You've got the Seven of Wands, which is a pretty Sagittarian kind of energy. It's fire energy. It's the need to stand up and fight for what you believe in, Saji. Now, you're very good at that because you are about believing. Jupiter is about believing. It's about philosophy. It's about freedom. It's the planet of expansion. But also, you're a fire sign along with that. So, fiery, fiery belief. Okay? Your beliefs are fiery and philosophical and always trying to promote the most freedom for all. Okay? And then over here, Major Arcana, Justice. So this could be about a legal matter. It could be about a divorce. It could be about a job tribunal. It could be about a job situation. Or it could be about this relationship with the Six of Cups, okay? When Libra and Justice come in, and it's in the upright, it's a pretty good omen. So any amount of peacocking in the case of the emperor will get resolved. Probably in order for justice to be done, empress energy of the feminine will have to enter the situation somehow for the rebalance. For others of you, it could be to do with that job thing where somebody um, used their power against you in some way and that gets rebalanced. You've got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And for me, Sagittarius, this is a card that, as a tarot reader, you sometimes have your own individual cards that mean things. This is a card that means you won't be single for long. That's just my um, alert for you won't be single for long. Often this card comes up when you think you will be single for long <laughs> to say that you won't. So if you're in separation from this person, it looks like they're going to somehow reappear. Now, I don't know if it's in the 3D or I don't know if it's in the 5D, in dreams, in thoughts, in influence, in telepathy. I'm going to look at it in the extended reading. And we also have the two of swords in reverse. Now, look, when this is in the upright, you're blindfolded. You don't know which way to go. It's a stuck situation. There's a new moon and we have a new moon in Leo on the 1st of August and a new moon in Virgo on the 30th. Two bars of enlightenment for you, okay? So August is a month sandwiched between two big whoops of enlightenment. Oof, okay, let's have some Chuck Spetsano love cards. But you are fretting about this in a way that I think you're not used to. Wow. For some of you, this is about a relationship. Full stop. Okay. You get the problem card of trying to fit two hearts, halves of a heart together. So this could be karmic twin flame energy. Okay, definitely. You get control. I think someone tried to control you somehow. 
and you can't try and control a Sagittarius. It's just not. Sagittarians, Jupiter, expansion, freedom, philosophy, not control, okay? And you get the luck card of romance. This is kind of when you least expect it. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, when you least expect it. Wowzers. I'm quite excited. Yeah, that's very true. Now, this goes for whether it's work, romance or whatever, okay? This oracle card, exchanging gifts, is my fair exchange is no robbery card, okay? In other words, what are they bringing to the table romantically or financially? And what do you have to give? And does it add up? Not necessarily equally, because things aren't always equal, to be fair. But does it add up mutually? In other words, is it beneficially? <laughs> I can't speak because Mercury's still retrograde. Is it beneficial? Is it mutually beneficial? <laughs> does it serve both of you? Does it give you both something that you need? Okay. God. Oh my God, I love this card. Right, this is important, Sagittarius, because I can see this reading and I could feel this reading before I began it was uncharacteristically not a very Sagittarius feeling reading. Nine of Swords. I know that you're in a bit of a funk here, okay? I know that it feels and has felt really unfair and really difficult. And there's been karmic things at play that have dragged you down, okay? Justice is coming in in August, particularly in the latter half, in the second half of August. And I'm going to do this for you. This is what I do on my daily reading. And I did this for some other sign. I can't remember who got it. Whenever I get this card, I put my tiara on. Okay. Who's going on, Sag? Those of you who watch my dailies will know why. Never fits that well, my tiara. Miracles. Yeah. Expect them however they come. Half of the reason you get them is because you expect them. It's really, really important for you to keep the faith in August. OK, I wish I could speak more and I would, <laughs> it would be a lot better, but I can't. Keep the faith, Sagittarius. OK, if you want to join me for the extended, the link is in the description box. Otherwise, Sagittarius, keep the faith, baby, and I'll see you next month. Namaste.